Have you ever wanted to review certain portions of a video or video series without having to wade through the whole video or series again? Maybe you are studying and understand 90% of the material, but there are just a few sections you need to review over and over again. For example, here are two full videos from MIT OpenCourseWare. One is an hour and 17 minutes and the other is 48 minutes, but let's say you only need to review about 10 minutes. For the first lecture, let's say you only need to review the clip starting at 25.03 and stops at 25.06. For demonstration purposes, this is a very short duration. You would make it longer. For the second lecture, you need to review two clips. The first clip starts at 9.54 and stops at 9.57. The second clip starts at 15.30 and ends at 15.33. So we want a playlist that will only show these customized clips so that we can review it over and over again without reviewing all the boring stuff we already know. First, make a playlist in VLC of the two full-length videos. Either highlight the two full-length videos in Windows Explorer and select Add to VLC's Media Player Playlist or Open VLC, choose Open File, and select both files with the Control key. Now save the playlist. Choose Media, Save Playlist to File. Make note of where you save this file. Now open the playlist file in a text editor. I suggest Notepad++, but you could also use Notepad. We will copy track elements and then modify three of the sub-elements, ID, Start Time, and Stop Time. For the first clip, add a VLC colon option element and put start time equals 2503. Add a VLC option element and put stop time equals 2508. For the second clip, copy the start time and stop time elements we entered above and change the times. For the third clip, copy the whole second track element and paste it below the second track element. Now change the VLC colon ID to 3, meaning the third track in the playlist, and change the start time and stop time text. You don't have to make any other changes to the XML SPIF playlist, although you can update these elements for consistency if you want. Let's make sure it works. So that is how to make user-defined clip playlists in VLC. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments. Please thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel, CBT TJM.